Pan and zoom is nothing other than a crop over a period of time and that's the method that I'll be using for this demo. We'll assume you've already imported your image into the media panel. From here drag it onto the video track and you'll notice the properties pane appear in the upper right quadrant. I'm just going to extend our image so that we have enough time to carry out our task. Then we'll return the timeline cursor back to the start. Now, from the properties pane, select crop in the parameters box and select match project aspect. Now mouse up the properties pane and select show keyframes. And notice how the keyframe track for the crop function appears underneath the video track on the timeline. When you mouse down to the keyframe track, the cursor changes to a crosshair and a left click will add another keyframe to the track. This new keyframe will have the same properties as the first keyframe because we haven't made any changes to the crop frame. Now I'm going to zoom into the aeroplane, so I'm going to insert a keyframe at the zoomed in point. And in the parameters area of the properties frame, I'm going to change the area and the position of the crop box and most importantly, I'm going to change the area from a corner. That's to ensure that I don't change the project aspect ratio. With the mouse cursor inside the box, I can then move it around the plane. To pause there for a tad, I'll insert an identical keyframe shortly afterwards. Next, I'm going to pan down to the boat. So let's add another keyframe at the zoomed in point. Make our adjustment to the crop frame and insert another identical keyframe to pause momentarily. Now I want to pan up to the ship. So another keyframe at the end of the pan. Adjust the crop frame and insert another identical keyframe. Finally, I want to zoom out to the image we started with. To do this, I insert a keyframe at the zoomed out point then select the first keyframe, right click and click copy, then select our last keyframe, right click and click paste. To hold that position to the end of the image we'll insert a keyframe at the out point and paste the previously copied properties into it. If I now send the cursor back to the beginning of the timeline and click play we can watch the result. Easy when you know how. Goodbye.